good morning. This is PJ. Welcome to Grace Hollow Rabbitry. And it's been a long weekend. I just get back from Shreveport, Louisiana. We went to a rabbit show. I had a buddy of mine that rode with me uh, who lives nearby. Uh, anyway, we <laughs> had a long weekend. We left 6 a.m. Friday morning and uh, we picked up some chicken eggs on our way. And then we went into Texas first uh, to pick up uh, some transport rabbits. And I, I pick up a new rabbit, which I'll show you. Um, and then from Texas, we <laughs> came back east into um, Louisiana and on into Shreveport. So it was a lot of driving and a long weekend, but it was a good weekend. Uh, always enjoy the shows. And... I get home last night, uh, well, early this morning, really. It was after midnight when we get in. And so I just leave the rabbits in the van overnight. So they're ready to get home and in their holes. And so what I will do is, before I do anything here, I really want to go and check on the babies. I've been gone. I haven't seen them since Thursday evening. So I want to go into the barn and see how everyone's doing. And Zion is expecting her first litter while I was gone. So I want to go check on those. So let's go check on the babies. And then I'll work on getting the van unloaded. And then we'll see. I'll tell you what happened at Shreveport. And introduce you to a new bunny. First off, here's Memphis. There's mom. Hey Memphis, how are you girl? Oh, okay, she wants to be left alone. Uh, Memphis with her babies, as she's turned out to be a messy mom. I'm going to have to clean her nest box today. She has three babies. Let's see. Oh my goodness, they grew so much over the weekend. And she's a good mom. Look how fat these boogers are. So, what are these guys? Um, I don't have my little black book in front of me. Um, I think they were due on the 11th. And I think I think Memphis had hers on the 11th, too. Uh, anyway, I did a video last week. You know when they were born. So, they are roughly 7. Today's Sunday, the 19th. So, these guys are seven or eight days old uh, we can look for their eyes to come open soon and I tell you what Memphis made a mess of her nest box this weekend so we're gonna have to clean that but Memphis is doing very good I'm really excited about okay that. and here's Madison's um well uh, there's definitely life in here they're moving around let's see it's very warm this morning Nothing's in the back. They're all, they're all up front. Oh, I don't remember. Does she have five? Yes, I think I remember. I think there was like a heavy broken, two broken, and two reds, if I remember right. Man, it's amazing what you forget after a weekend, you know. Oh, just look at that. They have their fur in now. They didn't have hair. Look how beautiful. Well, we got a full nose marking. Look how beautiful. Oh, I love the markings on that one. I hope that one turns out nice. A nice doe would be good. I could use another broken doe. And here's a heavy broken. Oh, look, it's trying to open its eyes. And this will be the same age, uh, seven or eight days. They're a week old, you know. That's the heavy bro oh look. Oh look how gorgeous. Full nose and beautiful markings. I like those light patterns like that. Lightly marked, but it's not a Charlie. It it's beautiful mark. And a nice red. And she's doing wonderful. These these little boogers are they're nice and warm and belly's full and they look like they're trying to open their eyes. 
It's a little warm. I'm not going to worry about covering them. If they get chilled, uh, they'll either crawl in the back or mom will come cover them. But I don't think they need it. They have fur now and it's warm. Okay, mean, or not Mina. This is the blue doe of Boca. That rooster is being loud. You know what? They look like they're all here. Let's see. And look how beautifully marked all these guys are. Look at them. All eight of them. There's one. There's two. There's three. That one's just a little smaller. I'm not concerned, but it's a little smaller. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, she's doing wonderful. First time mom. She had them all in the box. And they are all... She had hers a day later, didn't she? Didn't she have hers either the 12th or was she two days late? I don't know. Either way, they're about a week old. And she's doing very good for her. Okay, first here's Zion. Zion was actually due the 17th, which is Friday. So she was due two days ago. Um, I hear good news and I see bad news. Uh, first of all, I don't see any signs of babies. I don't see any fur on the ground. I don't see any fur in the nest box. Uh, that's a little discouraging. Uh, on the second hand, I open the door and I hear Zion grumble. Uh, Zion don't normally grumble, so that's unusual. I'm going to dig around in her box. See, she's a little jumpy. Zion's usually not grumpy. So I'm going to play around in her box and see if maybe she has something buried in there. Okay, um, no, I don't see any babies. That's disappointing. Um, that's how the babies are doing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the van offloaded and get bunny rabbits put away. And then I will show you the new rabbit that I picked up. And then uh, talk to you about how the show went. So I'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay. So let's talk about the show and Ogden here. He's he's happy to be home and he's pretty excited. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of solid blacks, and Ogden here he was the only one in his class, so he won his class all three shows, and he got a bunch of excellent comments. I really couldn't ask for better comments than what he got. So I was really pleased with that. Unfortunately, there was, he's really all over the place today. Uh, unfortunately, there was a beautiful uh, senior black buck there. And the senior black buck took best to breed all three shows. Uh, he was just a phenomenal buck. Uh, and so Ogden didn't uh, beat him, but he did have really good comments. And other than the senior buck, he really didn't have any competition. So uh, it was not a good show for him, but I, it was his first time out. And he had good comments, so I will try him again and on another Moco. Day. And you all know Moco. He's also um, <laughs> really excited to be out of those carriers and stretching his legs quite a bit, too. Uh, Mocha won Best Opposite Sex Variety on show one and show two. So he picked up two new legs. Uh, and he won his class all three shows. And I'm not sure if there was enough for him to get a leg or not 
on the class one. I don't think so. But that's okay because he picked up two legs and he only needed one. So um, as soon as his legs are sent to me, we'll get those mailed off and get his grand championship papers. And also, folks, a little update on MoCo. I um, called the, the people that said they wanted him to let them know uh, that he will be ready to go home soon. And I'm not sure that they're going to take them. They said that uh, they would talk to their significant other and get back with me. So Moko may be up for sale, guys. Uh, so uh, if so, he will be sold as a registered grand champion. So keep your eyes open. He might be up for grabs. I don't need him because I have cash. And now we have another outstanding young buck coming up right behind him. So... I really don't okay, need this Okay, and then fella. here is a young, uh, this is an ink and bloomer buck. Yes, okay. He's an ink and bloomer buck. He's a junior buck, and he won his class all three shows. Uh, he couldn't beat Moco, uh, so, or I said junior. He's not junior. He's intermediate. Uh, he just couldn't beat Moco on a variety level, but he won his class. And I don't believe there was enough exhibitors for him to win any legs. But he had some very fantastic comments. And so we're looking forward to seeing how he continues to do. But so far he's a promising this young, young lady. Man. She's a 6 8 doe. Uh, she's actually the sister to that buck I just showed you. Uh, she's out of ink and bloomer. And these two are the last of... Though that breeding, um, Bloomer is no longer with us. So these are the end of the line. Uh, so these two, that buck and this doe, will be staying. Uh, we have Biggers, who is this young lady's full sister. But uh, we're going to keep this younger lady, too. And this girl, uh, she, <laughs> she kicked butt this weekend. Uh, she took... Uh, best opposite sex breed and show one uh, only outdone by that fabulous black buck uh, she took best opposite sex of breed and show two beat only by the fantastic senior black buck and then uh, she won best of variety in the broken category so she was the best broken there all three shows and it came down between her and a white doe on the third show and the judge went with the white doe so uh, she picked up all three of her legs in and then one here's weekend. the queen and the queen um, she's in the same class as the last young doe I showed you and she took second place in her class all three shows right behind the ink and bloomer doe who at this point doesn't have a name but she now deserves one uh, so we'll pick up a name for her uh, sometime soon anyway the queen took second place all three shows she just couldn't hold a candle next to the ink and bloomer uh, so she already has two legs and one of those legs is a best of breed leg so hopefully we can pick up one more leg on her somewhere down the road this spring uh, but as soon as we do, uh, this girl is out of Dave and Biggers. So, you know, she's a, what, a cousin of the last doe? So, anyway, we're looking forward to breeding her. So that's how the show in Shreveport went. Okay, it's the end of the day, and it's beginning to get a little dark. I'm not sure if you can see real well. Uh, but here's the new guy. I haven't named him yet. But this is a blue New Zealand buck. Uh, on the way to Louisiana, I swung by Texas first and picked him up. And hoping for, um, he's a young guy, so he won't breed for quite a while. But hopefully he will grow to be a big guy. With some good body type, he body type wise he looks very promising. 
So we'll wait and see how he turns out, but I'm excited to have another solid blue buck. But that's it. He's got him a little kibble in there, and he's got him a little hay. And he just got a fresh, clean carrier. He's in quarantine, so he's going to stay here for a little while. Um, but only temporary. So he's he's pretty happy right now. And he seems to be fairly tame. So I really like that. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the updates. And until we speak again, God bless.